It's late start. I have a toddler going through a growth spurt who just wants mommy and nobody else. So she would not let go of me. And I try to get away and she just went, mama. Like she can barely speak a few words and mama is one of them. So it's really hard to get away from her. Plus she's so much fun. I just want to be with her all the time. So it's my fault. It's my fault. So today we're learning as it was by Harry Styles. If you would like to get the printable, it will be shared on the Patreon feed today. And uh, the Patreon feed also has courses that I haven't shared anywhere else, play along videos and lots of printables um, that I do to give back to my Patreon community and make their membership worth it. So it's a great way to support my channel, my family, and to also get a lot more out of it for your ukulele education. Hi, Angie. So this song, we're actually gonna use some bar chords today and I could do it in the C, A minor, F and G, but I feel like you know way too many songs that are C, A minor, F and G. And if you've been really shy and avoiding bar chords, then today we're just going to do trial by fire. Okay, by the way, today I'm playing my signature uke. <laughs> I love this uke. I got my magazine today. Yay! I'm glad you got it. It's like, it takes a little bit longer with the ones overseas. Or not overseas, but like in a different country. Shelly and this! I was thinking about you today. Quincy's girlfriend, uh, my husband, my baby and I, we had pizza and chips and we played Mario Kart, like video games. And at one point I saw Daniela had my phone, I think. And I did see that she opened up the Telegram app where a lot of us have a group chat just for like the Euclandia Facebook group, this community. And I did see that there were voicemails, but I thought, oh, I must have sent those a long time ago, like back when we were chatting. But I guess <laughs> I heard her laughing. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I hope that did not wake you up, Kristen. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. as it was in a more challenging key. I will give you the easy chords if you like them. Um, and then uh, you can use a capo. You can use a capo with the easy chords to sound exactly like me. So if you're gonna do the easy version with no bar chords, grab your capo right now, put it on the second fret. Um, and we'll sound good playing together. If you're gonna do the challenge, if you're gonna try the difficult chords, let's do a D chord first. I'll get the whiteboard in a second, but I do wanna try and um, try and teach you to memorize a little bit. So we're gonna play D chord, right? And most of your fingers are on the second fret, correct? Well, B minor is just a bar of the second fret 
with the ring finger on the fourth. That's the next chord. If you're doing the easy chords, then instead of doing D, please do C on the capo and please do A minor. So if you're doing easy version, it's C and A minor. If you're doing the challenging version, it's D and B minor. And then your ring finger is already in the position you need it for in E chord. So just put the pinky and then the index finger. You don't have to press E string for E chord if you don't want to. It's kind of like an E5, but it works. So instead of doing all three strings, we're just doing um, fourth fret of G, C, open E, and second fret of A. And yes, this is the original key. And then you have A. Let me grab my capo so I can demonstrate it for the other version. So if you're a beginner, and by beginner, I mean you've been playing for a month or two. Do the easy version. Definitely try the challenging one. But if you've been playing more than a month, I want to challenge you to start trying the bar chords. So for the easy version, it's C, A minor, D, G. Okay, those are your chords. Um, when I say uh, uh, one of the chords on the advanced version, just think two steps back on the alphabet. So if I'm saying D, think two, well, is it one full step? Yeah, one full step back on the alphabet. So if I'm saying D, go back on the alphabet one letter and that's a C. If I'm saying B minor, go back on the alphabet one letter and that's A minor. If I'm saying A, then go back to the B, the end of the alphabet to G. That's the last letter. So that's a, a good way to transpose in your head. Um, so the strumming here, this song is very upbeat, but the snare is hitting on beats two and four, two and four. And I feel like it's very like motion heavy. So I'm doing one and two and three and four and one and two. So just a down up, but I'm chucking on two and four, one and chuck and three and chuck and one and chuck and three and chuck and one and two and three and four and, and thank you for all the likes that really helps the videos do a lot better so appreciate it so this is a strumming pattern that i'm doing so the beginning um there's like a couple Harry, we gotta say, we want to say good night to you. Da -da 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 -da. So if you're a male, I would assume to sing it an octave lower. Um, he, I, he might be singing there. I don't think he's singing that low, but if you have it, do it. I don't think he's singing that low. I think Harry has kind of a high voice, to be honest. So if you got the low pipes, use them. Um, and that's the intro right there. It's open, two, four, two, 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 open, uh, seven, four. And this, a uh, little melody is playing throughout the song. And 
and I'll have that on the principle for the patrons. I'll have it the tab written out. So, um, yeah. So the first bit has just D, D minor, E, A, and then you repeat that D, D minor. what the whole song follows this pattern D D minor E A repeat D D minor E A so let's add some singing the more melodic part is the chorus where it says, In this world, it's just us. Okay, so let's try it there. D, one, two, a little slower. Ready, go. Sing now. In this world, it's just us. Stay here. Switch. saying I'm not good enough let me work with you on the easier chords so the singing note is the five the, okay. let's do the easy version that's gonna be C A minor D and G. So you're gonna strum C and sing. In, go in this world, A minor. It's just a G. No. No, it's not the same as it was. grab the board so all it is is four chords four chords and they just repeat the whole time so I hope that you do challenge yourself to try and memorize though I will bring the board because you're asking but I, I really 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 want you to push yourselves to let me grab something white this And I know you might not like this point, but you know, when you see a performer on stage and they don't have the music in front of them, it really opens them up to connect with the audience, to dance, and to enjoy the performance. You know, they're, they're looking at their instrument, they're looking at the audience, they're improvising some of the lyrics, and you might say, well, I'm not a performer. Well, yet. But we won't grow in the comfort zone. We won't grow if we're always, always, always looking at the sheet music. So I do want to encourage you to push yourself past that and try to play without music in front of you, because that could be a crutch. <laughs> it's stuck. Get a tiny wig or a hat. Yeah. So the chords are C, A minor, D, and G. That's the easy version. Thank you, Shelly. 
and the advanced version, well, we're just going to go up on the alphabet one step. And this is the original key, D, B minor, E, and A. For strumming, what I'm doing is down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck, up. And there's one chord where I feel like we're staying a little longer, so let me play that. So this is the easy version, this is the advanced. Chuck up, down up, chuck up, down up, chuck up, down up, chuck up. So four times per chord. So again, you can do it on the easy version or the advanced version. The easy version, you would need capo 2 to play along with Harry's music. So capo on the second fret to sound just like him. Um, over her water bowl and then she gets mad that she tipped it over and then we go we'll give her water and then she's so excited that she tips it over we bought her kitty pools she ate them and destroyed them uh, we bought her like um, a pool that's meant for large dogs she destroyed it just one morning we came out and it was all in pieces and the front yard was flooded um, we tried storage containers buried on the floor, destroyed them. She's just Godzilla, this dog. She, um, we, I mean, right now she has metal, like stainless steel bowls. And the problem now with those is she can't destroy them. So she tips them over and I don't know. I don't know what to do because it's going to be, I mean, like when I'm gone, you know, like if I need to run an errand or something, it's. Like, oh, she doesn't have water. I know she doesn't have water because I know she tips them over. And I can't leave her inside yet because she destroys everything. Like, everything, everything, everything. If we leave anything plastic outside, it's gone. The delivery people have learned to bring, like, ukuleles or things that get shipped to my house and put them on top of the car because if not, she will destroy them. She's destroyed packages. Thankfully, none, none were ukuleles, but she has destroyed packages and mail. She's crazy. So my dog, we can eat. he's a uh, Westie and we bought him a pool and he stood beside it and looked at us. Oh, 
Is she being crate trained? Yes, thankfully she's great on the crate, but you know, when I leave, I don't know how long I'll be gone and I don't wanna leave her for a long time. Our chocolate lab um, destroyed our kitchen. Yeah, I'm, when I've talked to animal people, they've just said that it's just the terrible twos. It's something that all labs go through. It's just the little destroyer phase. So I just know with time she'll grow out of it. But yeah, that that's probably why she was barking. So the strumming is down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck. Down up, chuck up, down up, chuck up, down up, chuck up. What's the highest and lowest note you can sing? I don't know. Not very, I don't have a very wide range. Down up, chuck up. My Dane has a tail that could be classified as a lethal weapon. I wonder if that's why so many uh, people trim it. I know people trim tails and um ears for aesthetics but i have seen some animals that actually injure themselves because their tails wag against like corners and furniture and like they bleed so people will make the trims for health reasons my pitbull's on her fourth fourth row going out you know what i'm happy that we're all sharing stories of our animals because it's like one of those things that like you should have control of your pet or whatever you know and and I thought like, oh, um, she needs more walking. So we do this like really long two, two to four mile walk because we have a lot of like open fields where we live. And it wasn't that. She would do the walk or run or jog with me and she'd come back and just get straight to destroying stuff. So <laughs> my parents have control of me. So I, I think it's just the phase. I think she's just young and excited and happy and gonna it's gonna happen for a little bit down up down up 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 down up up down is that right Sakura, like, from a very young age, learned not to jump on baby. I'm really grateful that she doesn't do that. She jumps on us because she gets excited. But I just nodded and forgot it was in Zoom. <laughs> so an alternative pattern that Shelly just shared that sounds really pretty and um, it doesn't have the chuck. Down, up, down. Up, up, down. Up, up, down. Up, up, down. I think that's that's it. And you could add a little up here if you want. I'll put it in parentheses, it's optional. So let me, I truly believe the pandemic has been hard on our pets. You know, I wonder if it's been hard or if it's been better for them. I don't know, because so many people stayed home, you know? Like my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, before the pandemic, they had those little, like, teeny tiny little hairy white dogs. And um, their dogs had, like, the, the red tear, like, you know when animals cry and the, the fur here gets, like, reddish brown? They had that before the pandemic. And after the pandemic, it was gone because mommy and daddy weren't leaving for work anymore. So... I think it was probably harder for pets if people went back to work. Yeah, I don't know. But I mean, if like pet owners are kind of mean, you know, then maybe it's it was better for them before the pandemic. Yeah, tear stain. Thank you. Yeah, but some are not used to staying alone. So it depends on the pet, I think, and the owner. For me, I just know Sako's going through that stage. I know she's just like a destroyer. I know she's just she's just being a dog you know she's chewing she's teething she's i just love that she's a happy dog you know that's all i can ask for and i know maturity will come um but i know it's not an exercise issue because we got her a gps tracking collar and uh 
we like you can see on your phone where, where the dog is and she was a few fields over so like she loves to just run and just leave and uh, I go out there and I do this really high-pitched whistle um, that my grandma taught me and uh, she comes right back which is really good um, but it's just an age thing, I think. Give Sakura a dog pool and she will enjoy her day. We had given her a dog pool and she ate it. So I think once, because this house came with a pool, but um, it has leaks on it. So I think once we fix that pool, it'll be her playground. Um, okay, so, so you can do the C, A minor, D, and G. C, A minor, D, and G. Are, is your trainer working with capturing calmness? You know, again, I don't think that that's the issue. I don't think it's like, oh, she needs calm people around her. You could be right after a meditation cycle, cool, calm, and collected. She would still be so happy to see you come outside to play and bring you a ball. Like, she's just a, such a happy dog. So I will say that she does pay more attention to me than Jaime though. Uh, Jaime, Jaime spoils her and Jaime does not correct her. So she's like, nah, and Jaime comes out. And when I come out, she's like, bah. okay, I gotta sit. But I'm so happy, but I gotta sit. But I'm so happy, like she can't contain it. Even uh, love can't destroy, I didn't catch what the love can't destroy. And thank you Priyanka for uh, the, Tip, thank you, thank you, thank you. Galvanized stock pool. Oh, I'll look that up. Ah, so, yeah. I don't think it's it's that um, because I've had I had a lab before, and I had read all of the training books and videos and everything, and he was golden. Like he just if I put him in the living room and told him stay, he'd stay. If I actually I used to bike ride with him, I would ride the bike while he jogged next to me. And that's a lot of trust because you got the leash like that. A, a huge lap can pull you off the bike and it can be very, very dangerous. But he wouldn't. He would stay right there, right next to me, wouldn't go in front of the bike or behind it. He was right next to me whenever there were hills and I needed some help. He would pull me up. So I've trained a really great lap. And I was like, I've done it once, I can do it again. And Sako came to really teach me to be humble because I was so sure that I was gonna have another dog just like Secretariat that would be so calm and so good at taking care of me. Secretariat also never barked until, unless there was real danger. Like I was pumping gas at a gas station late at night and this man started approaching me and I didn't see him, but he, the dog was in the car. But it was late at night and secretary is pitch black and the man didn't know that i had a big dog in the car so secretary started growling and that was so odd because he was never ever aggressive and so when he started growling i look at him and then i look at where he's looking and i see this man approaching me and i just ran inside my car and and when i sat there like the man still started still continued coming up to me and uh, secretary started barking and the man hadn't seen that there was a big black dog in the car. So as soon as he saw that, he left. And as soon as he left, I realized that man's intentions were not good because if he was approaching me to say like, hey, you have a busted tail light or hey, you dropped something, like he would have still approached. But the fact that he got scared with a dog just told me like this, this was not, he was not bringing something good over here. Grateful to have my, my dog. And so getting Saku, I was hoping to have that kind of relationship, you know, where I had that big lab that just would ride bikes with me and be just, I don't know, just at my side at all times. And she has not been that at all. And secretary it was like that from the day I brought him home. And uh, he would always ride in the car with me. And if I put Saku in the car, she will eat it. So... Again, I think it's just she needs more time. Just a little bit more time. All right, so let's play through this song and then we will do some guitar chords. And so I'm going to do the advanced version. So if you want to play along with me, do this one with a capo or do the advanced. 
here. One, two, a one, two, red, go. Three, four, D, D minor. Two, three, E, go. A. the same um The whole verses are the same. This whole song is very repetitive. That's why it's on the top 40. Because you know why songs make it to the top uh, billboard charts, by the way? They have to be unique enough to appeal to us and to for us to go, oh, that's a new song. But they have to feel familiar enough for us to like them. So songs will have something that you recognize or that makes you feel comfortable, like hello very familiar chords you know like why don't you see a lot of songs with like c sharp diminished five chords or something like that because it wouldn't sound good to our ear our ear is trained to hear basically the same things so i'm not saying that we're basic i'm just saying that we get used to very familiar sounding things and we like hearing more of that so the little rap uh same thing go go chatting with you a little bit more because there's not really much I can teach you here when a song repeats so much. So let's learn some guitar, the guitar version. Let me see. I think key of G is going to be our friend. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to grab your guitars or if you're a ukulele player and you want to keep playing along, then do that because the guitar chords work for ukulele as well. If any people here are colorblind, please let me know if you have a hard time seeing the red. I will try and find a different marker. So for guitar, it's gonna be G, A minor, A and D. G, E minor, A and D. But everything else is the same. your 
guitar on the highest string, that would give you the no of the chorus. You know. the singing note uh, so Yara asked about this last week and we talked about it a little bit but basically what I do is um, I just play the song oh by the way these chords would work really well for guitar with a capo um, but I just play through the chords and I when I have a long note that I'm singing a, a word that I'm singing for a long time then I'll stop and try to find it in the in the strings and then that'll tell me like, oh, okay, well, that's the, the chord. Sorry that I'm stuttering today. Um, as you may or may not know, English is my second language and I think I hide it pretty well that it's my second language. Well, at least I think I had it well. But on days where I don't have a lot of rest, <laughs> it comes out that I'm not native native. Okay, so if you have a guitar and you want to play the C version and you want to sound just like Harry, add the capo on the second fret. And you'll be able to play with the recording. That sounds fun. Let me change this because my mind starts to read the chord charts. at the music because I'm confusing myself with all these keys. One, two, one, two, ready, go. In this world, it's just love. You know it's not the same as it was, as it was, as it was. how this song goes and a little F. Um, uh. And thank you Monica for the compliment on the voice.
there you have it, Harry Styles as it was. Let me know in the chat now or in the comments down below, should I make a dedicated tutorial video, like not a live stream one? Um, I can do that, but I, honestly, the reason I don't do that for some videos is because, there I go, kind of like stuttering again. Um, the reason I don't do that for some videos is because I don't know if you will find it, Harry <laughs> Estilos. I don't know if you will find it boring for me to say, these are the four chords you play. Now play them over and over and over and over. Thank you, that's my tutorial, bye. Like, I don't know if it's gonna be boring, you know? But if you think it will do well. I'll do it. Do a short, I can do a short. practicing for anyone who plays guitar if you join the patreon fam we're learning how to read music notation with guitar and last time we started um classical music i feel kind of done learning on my own maybe it's just me okay well then i'll join you in your learning journey by playing along I'm making a tutorial video. Kira said make it, so I'll do it. A short would be perfect. Okay, I might do shorts. <sighs> yeah, I'll do short. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I don't want to bore you all, you know? Like, I don't want it to be like, really? She took six minutes to say that? Like, just say it in the first 30 seconds of the video. But some people like the practice alone. Like, all right, let's do it together. One, two, three, go. What sounded amazing? Oh, the classical. a little better and thank you to Debbie who is on my Etsy shop right now favoriting items so another way to support me is to shop on the Etsy shop or if you don't feel like in a shopping mood but you like going on Etsy and favoriting stuff or following the store that helps a ton too so thank you I have some um, packages to ship um, including earrings uh, so the earrings are packed and ready to go. And uh, I surprised one of the customers, previous customer from the shop and sent an extra gift. So she bought a ukulele, I don't know, like last year. And I sent her a tote bag and some strings and she messaged me like, I got a, a package by mistake. And I was like, no, it wasn't a mistake awesome and supportive so it's fun to surprise people so I'm gonna be doing more of that because it's just so cool and the other piece I've been working on
that's what I've been learning and my guitar lessons. It seems to be working. Alrighty, so then I'll make some YouTube shorts, reels, uh, and uh, I recognize the tune. Yes, it's called Romanza. So I'll make shorts, reels, TikTok uh, of as it was. I'll make it for ukulele. I'll make a separate one for guitar. Um, I got stuff delivered to Germany. Yay, I'm glad it arrived. Um, and Monica received the, the magazine today and that's in Canada. So stuff is being sent all over the world and it takes a little bit of time to get there, but it gets there, thankfully. I downloaded the, um, no, I, I subscribed to stamps.com and I bought uh, the scale so that I can ship out packages myself. And um, we've had a way better rate of reception that way. Um, Kiara, you had not received your first magazine, right? So I resent it like last week. I resent yours. And Kristen, I sent um, two magazines. Oh, Kristen, maybe that's why the telegram was open to your name. Maybe? No, that's weird. It happened on the Yukonja channel. I don't know why I went to you. I'm sorry about those voicemails. I'm glad it wasn't like... I don't know, something embarrassing. Alrighty, fam. Well, I'm going to go and do the last video of the strum and sing challenge. Yes, the earrings are already on their way. Um, the strum and sing challenge. So for anyone who struggles coordinating, like singing and keeping the strumming hand going, that is a question that I've received quite a bit um, over the years of having a YouTube channel, but I did not feel one confident enough in my singing and two, like I should be seeing teaching people how to sing. But you know, I got over that imposter syndrome. I'm feeling are we able to get the first magazine still? I'll have to check if I have any. I may have sold out. Bernadette, I think your shirt is inside out. Right? It's inside out. I saw that too. I was like, no one will notice. But of course Shelly noticed. I didn't sleep last night. Um I like, I think because I normally don't eat so much late at night because we had a party. And I was fasting all day because like through my church, um, they do fasting on Mondays to do prayer. And if you believe in prayer and the power of prayer, please pray for my friend Evelyn and her daughter. So my friend Evelyn and her daughter... Um, her daughter was having a hard time breathing and it got serious enough that she ended up in the ICU and I believe it's called tracheomalacia. Uh, it's when I looked this up, this was just a Google search. I am not knowledgeable in this, but from what I read, it's when the trachea doesn't develop enough cartilage. So it's underdeveloped trachea and as children develop, they grow out of it, but it's very concerning. And um, so I was fasting all day, praying, and I knew I would break my fast for dinner. And that's when we had the party. And I call it a party that there was six of us, five of us, six of us, including the baby. Uh, but it was just pizza and chips. But I don't normally eat that heavy. So I stayed up till two. I could not go to sleep. And then Danny uh, woke up at 2.30 and stayed up till four. Um, and then she finally passed out at like 4.15 for something. And then we both slept till 8.15. So I'm tired. And <laughs> I guess that's why I'm wearing an inside out shirt. Because I couldn't sleep. <laughs> but again, I know that this will also pass. little trend well we wouldn't be starting it but my friend uh the banjo little tin man his name is chris 
was playing and he always dresses like vintage clothing like just like the suspenders and his all his videos are in black and white all the time and this time he made a color video and you could see him playing a soprano year with like bright blue socks oh. hi thank you the tea man has become the coffee man <laughs> i asked him for this in the beginning i almost fell off the chair <laughs> I wanted to be awake for the lesson. I was like, can you, it's backwards? Oh no, it's not backwards. Oh, Monica. <laughs> I would have had a mommy meltdown if it was backwards too. I, I asked them before the lesson, hey, can you bring me a coffee with almond milk? Cause I was like, okay, he'll bring this. I'll wake up for the lesson. We will be good. <laughs> Who was that? I'm nosy. <gasps> You must be new. Well, new-ish. A lot of the people who are here, um, they kind of hopped on this boat during the pandemic and the lockdowns. So the we started doing these live streams really seriously. What was it, March? March or April of 2020? It had to be, I think it had to be March or April. Ah, I don't know when it was exactly. But um, I was living with Jaime and uh we would do the live streams and sometimes they were like two three hours long and so Jaime would bring me like apple pie and tea every single day like he would bring me something so he became the tea man and then I started craving apple pie so he went out to McDonald's and bought like four apple pies and the little apple pies and brought me one of the the watermelon yeah <laughs> so he became tea man and then it was during one of those um one of those uh, live streams that I mentioned that I had a dream that I, I was outside with my family and then I just saw the moon fall from the sky and we were all like, oh my goodness, what does that mean in, in the dream? And I asked, like, are there any people, I think I asked, are there any Daniels in the chat? I'm shocked because my daughter's name is Daniela. I asked if there were any like dream interpreters and one of you said, well, if the moon fell, that means you're not gonna be on your cycle. That means you're pregnant. And I had just found out that I was pregnant, a glorious and epic journey. I hadn't even shared it with family. So you all found out before family, friends. I bet, you know what? I think like during that pandemic and that pandemic during the pandemic at that point we were each other's friends and family like i know i would have gone crazy if i didn't have this structure you know something to come to every single day to make music to laugh to joke to wear wigs to make all of these inside jokes so um so yes yeah, so um they all know the people who were here for that all know that that's team man and that's when i was using this mug all the time i think he did that on purpose so that you all would be like oh that's the same mug yes and actually you guys were so nice when i announced that i was having a baby i i remember thinking like oh man because as a youtuber like you can your income fluctuates a lot you know um, you, you don't know exactly what's going to be coming in, but I thought like, I really need to be serious about this. You know, I have a child coming and I have to provide for her. And that's when the Patreon grew, like it doubled because you all were like, okay, we need to support this child. <laughs> and that day there were like, I don't know, like, I think like $500 in, um, super chats too. So, uh, -uh. For those of you who don't know my previous relationship story, I, I had married someone that I knew from college. Like we knew since 2006. And uh, after college, um, we remained friends. <clears throat> and then he went off to the military and then came back into my life and uh, we agreed that we wanted the same things, family, house, kids, the dogs, everything. And then, um, but my thing was that I wanted to make sure I got rid of my student debt before 
I brought in kids to the family. And for him, his goal, I think, was to always just go travel a little bit. So we agreed, first year, no kids. Um, but after the, after we paid off the, after we traveled, I wanted kids and he had decided that that was not what he wanted. So he either changed his mind or maybe that's what he wanted all along and hoped I would change my mind. I don't know what it was. You never know what a person truly is thinking, right? So um, we decided to go our separate ways. Uh, I, I thought for sure he would change his mind. So I stuck around for a few years thinking like, he's going to want a family eventually. He's going to want a family eventually. But then his family was telling me like, just, you know, just trick him. Once the baby comes, he'll be fine. And that was his family. And I was like, um, no, I don't want to trick someone into becoming a father. Like, I don't think that's the right way to do it. And I'm so grateful I didn't trick them as they were. <laughs> They were giving me recommendations on how to trick them. His family, his mom and aunt, okay? <laughs> they were like, you can make it happen. You can make it happen. And the woman is the boss and the woman runs the home. And I was like, okay, we're different. No. And so we, we decided to have a divorce. Thankfully, it was amicable. It was not like a nasty divorce. It was not hateful. It was not anything. I mean, of course, divorce is painful and it's rough but it, it we didn't make it rougher than it needed to be and uh and I divorced knowing that you know I was in my 30s and I didn't know if I would find someone and then go through everything you know the dating the engagement the marriage and then the kids like would I be too old at that point but I thought you know what I'd rather try than stay in a marriage and just know it's not gonna happen you know um, and I remember thinking like, no one's going to want a divorcee. And then I went to Germany for an event and I work in an industry that's male dominated. So I quickly realized like, oh, people don't seem to care that I'm divorced. That's cool. And then I came back home for a little bit and I was just going to be home for a little bit. And I put on my Facebook status that I was living in Imperial Valley again. And immediately Jaime reached out. He was like, what's up? <laughs> but Jaime was such a good friend that I didn't think about it that way with him. And uh, he asked what I was doing. And I said, I'm working at Starbucks. He thought I meant like working as a barista at Starbucks, which I, I have always thought that would be a really cool job to do just because you would learn so much. But he thought I meant as a barista. And I explained, no, I'm like working on my channel. Uh, at Starbucks and he said can I come and I was thinking like well I'm working but sure and he shows up and he was freshly showered and changed and I was like is he interested in me oh that's weird um oh no how what do I do what, what do I say like so he comes in right and sits with me and brought crossword puzzles to do and I thought that was so sweet and um and he told me like, yeah, here in the Valley, it's really hard to like find someone that wants the same things. And I'm thinking, yeah. And he's like, you know, I would love to have kids and a family and everything. And I was like, I would love you to find that, but I don't know if I'm the person. <laughs> Cause I didn't see him that way at first. Legend, the friend zone is no joke. And so he started inviting me to events. I started inviting him to events. We started going to lunch and eat together. And I just remember thinking like, why doesn't anybody see how wonderful of a guy he is? Like, man, women must be blind. Like he's so kind and caring and hardworking and he's a family man. Like, is there somebody out there like for him? And I, I would give him dating tips. <laughs> oh, I was so blind. And one time he asked me for help to come set up his printer and I was like, yeah, I'll come over. And I could just feel that he had a really, really hard crush on me. And that's when I started feeling it back. I was like, wait, do I have a crush on him? I guess I do. And then we started watching the show, The Good Place on Netflix. 
and uh, we started like binge watching together and separately we would watch the same episodes and talk about them and I thought like he's so nice he's so sweet and then the pandemic happened and um, I was really scared that I had it because my allergies kicked in at around the same time March here the February March uh, here is really really bad for allergies maybe in your region it's the same and so I didn't know if I just had bad allergies or if I had COVID and he came and brought groceries to me and I thought wow this guy is going above and beyond and he's not asking for anything like he's doing it out of joy he brought me cucumbers and seaweed dry, dry seaweed which are like my favorite things to eat and then I just wanted to spend all my time with him. I just wanted to be with him all the time. And we had the talk of, you know, what do you want in your future? But my heart was jaded, you know, from the previous experience. And I thought, no, as much as I believe in God and want to be a good Christian woman, I'm having my baby first and then getting married this time around because mm -mm, I'm not going to fall in the same hole twice. <laughs> and so... <clears throat> We, we moved in together and we decided to quarantine together and we agreed we both wanted kids down the line and you just hear of so many people, so many couples that it takes them years, you know, for the baby to come around. And I thought, you know what, with Jaime, I would be happy even if a kid didn't come around. And that's when I knew it was different. I was like, wait a second, that's not how I felt in the previous relationship because I wanted kids, and when, if they weren't there, then I didn't want to be with that person. But with Jaime, I felt like, I don't care. I don't care. Kids or not, I, I love this guy. And so, um, two weeks, we would, we would have the occasional wine or beer during quarantine. And then at one point, he, he said, you know what, you should stop drinking. We should stop drinking together. You know, what if you're pregnant? And I was like, it's been two weeks. I'm not pregnant. And he's like, well, you know, just wait until you test. And then after that, we'll be fine. I was like, okay. And so uh, we, I did, I took a test. It was negative. And he's like, well, like, let's just give it a few more days because you're late. I was like, okay, sounds good. I was like, I'm probably late because of the stress. Like the pandemic was really stressful and scary. So yeah, uh, that's fine. But I think it's just stress. And the next one was negative. So at that point, I was like, oh, maybe I should go to a doctor because I am kind of late, late now, like approaching 40 days. So I thought like, oh, this is maybe a little more serious. And so I was like, OK, I'm going to take a day off from testing. And the following day, I'll do another test. And so I took the test two days later and that was positive and I didn't know what to think like i'm pregnant i me, mean, i'm pregnant like i thought i wasn't gonna get to be a mom like i thought that that was just not gonna be for me and i go over and i like open the door Hyman's asleep i was like Hyman, i'm pregnant and then i think the f word came out and he's like no 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 i'm like yes i am and like, I'm like, he's not believing me. And I'm like, go check. Cause I had left the test on the, on the bathroom counter. I don't know why I thought like, if you moved it, it's wrong or something. And he goes and looks at it and he says another, the S word this time. <laughs> and he's like, you're pregnant. I'm like, I know. And then, um, there was some flatulence on his part. <laughs> And uh, we couldn't believe it. We were, we were so happy and scared and nervous. And, uh, and so I, I guess I feel a little bit like, I don't know if, if Danny will think it was like, I guess wrong or bad or, I don't know what she will think about us being married after she came, but I hope she will understand or that that won't matter to her. But um, as a YouTuber, I don't have health insurance. And for people who live here on the border, it's very common not to have health insurance because you can hop on over to Mexico and get really wonderful health care. And you can pay cash, you can pay with a card. It's really, really affordable. Like we went, um, we went, I was getting like laser hair removal and uh, we went and my mom 
wanted to get her cholesterol checked and I think they charged us $20. So it's really affordable, it's fast, it's easy. So I was just going to Mexico anytime I needed any medical care, but I thought, wait, this is a kid. Like, I don't want my kid to be born in Mexico. Like, then that changes everything. Like her passport, her eligibility for schools or social security, whatever, like. And so I said, okay, well, we need to get married so you can be on the insurance. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that sounds good, but. So we went out to Vegas and got married and I was like, this is perfect. It's just us. We're happy. We're good. Like we have our baby. And that's the story of Jaime for those of you who were not at the live stream two years ago or for those of you who had missed some of those little details. Uh, but the, the business, my business here started thriving during that time because you all came through, like you all came in support uh danny will love it i hope she does i hope she feels it and so <clears throat> i was thinking of naming her stevie but uh jaime said he didn't connect with the name so we named her daniela and that was a plus to watch living in imperial beach when is the movie happening i know it i'm so happy and you know what like Whenever I post pictures of Daniela, which it's not common, but whenever I post pictures of her, my previous husband's family comments on how beautiful she is and how happy they are for me. So like, that gives me a lot of peace and happiness to know that there's no hard feelings there, you know? And I don't know, I, I messaged him and my previous husband and I said, I hope like, you know, I have no hard feelings. I'm really happy for the time we were together. I learned a lot. And I hope you're okay too. And he messaged back and he said he learned to be more spontaneous and try to enjoy everyday life. And he learned that from me. So I'm glad things ended well. Alrighty, fam. Well, that's our hour together. What song would you like to learn next week? Would you like to learn some Beach Boys, some Backstreet Boys, some In Sync, some Tina Turner? Like, what would you like to know? No. about Beatles while my guitar gently weeps. That's a good one. So I have, it looks like two votes for pink and two votes for Beatles. Keep, which one do you, would you prefer next? We can do both by the way, just one weekend. Loki's dancing. Oh, Florence in the Machine. Oh, I've never done them. All right, I see pink, pink, Beatles. 
What's that really beautiful song by Pink? Just give me a reason, just a little one. Just a second when I'm broken to spend. I really love the idea of well, my guitar gently weeps because I'm a huge Beatles fan. Yes, Beatles. Oof, it's tied. Jake's version of my guitar gently weeps. I'm sure there's a tab for it out there somewhere. But what is the name of that song? What is that Pink song? Just give me a reason. Maybe older song by Pink. What's an older one? I know she was huge like when I was middle school, high school. Just That's just give me a reason. Wow, nice Bernadette. And just give me a reason. I might be able to do a short for both of them and then we can do like an in-depth video or live stream. I love the live streams. I'm sorry I didn't do them for so long. I, I think it was just like adjusting to be a, a new mommy. Down, even if it's just a key. Yeah, I think we can do that. Love Shake It Out by Florence and the Machine. Uh, pink. So I'm gonna add these to the list. I'll do, I'll do the pink one and next, and then Beatles and then Florence and the Machine. Can somebody text that? We just reached 100 likes. Yay, yay, yay! Can somebody text that to me on Telegram? Uh, pink. Just give me a reason. While my guitar gently weeps by Beatles. And what was the Florence and the Machine song you asked? <laughs> basic everyday chords. There's some fun suspended chords where you have this. I'm liking it. I'm excited for this. Thank you for the recommendation. That's cool. And then you were saying something older pink. What was, what's another older pink song? And then I was thinking of Dream On by Aerosmith. Have we learned this one yet? I can't remember if we learned it like years ago. But I really like that one. Who knew? Have we learned this one, the Dream On? That would be good to have new chords. Yeah, it, even to suspend it. So you have a C chord, and then you add the first note that you would add to an F. That's a C sus four. Just like a pill or get the party started. Oh, that's right. Get the party started. I remember that. 
I Say Something is great by Pink too. Yeah, she has some good stuff. I feel like I overlook her a lot. Let me see. done there before if we have not we'll add it to the list somebody please text me these on telegram so that we can have them there Sorry, it's just really fun to hang out with you all and talk about music and chords and share my love story. Thank you for watching. If you would like any tutorial, just send me a message on Patreon. Um, unfortunately, I can't get to back to all of the YouTube comments. I do read them all, but I can't respond to all of them all, all of them all the time. But I do make it a point to respond to all my patrons. So if you ever want to reach me and your patron member, do so there. We're also on Telegram, so there's different ways to reach out. I love you so much, and I hope that you're having a wonderful time. This week, I'll be at the NAM show, so I'll try to live stream from there. The Na NAM show is the National Association of Music Merchants. So anyone who makes an instrument, anyone who sells an instrument, and anyone who plays an instrument for a job like myself, uh, we all meet up and this is people from all over the world. You have like Germans and Spaniards and Chinese and Koreans all meeting in one place. So it's a really, really big deal. Stevie Wonder's been known to be there. Ed Sheeran was there. And if you know, like drummers and guitarists from like big bands, they're there. And like YouTubers like myself, content creators, and then fans, just fans, people who love music, uh, attend the show. So... I'll be performing at the Kala booth, at Ohana booth, and at Enya booth. So I'll try to make sure and live stream at least one of those shows. But I think it would be just much more fun if I make little shorts of what's happening there and all of that. So make sure you're subscribed, turned on notifications so that you'll see when I'm updating. The really cool thing about NAM is that any new products that are going to hit the market are shown at the NAM show first. So if you know you're going to be in the market for the next big ukulele or music product, uh, that's the place to keep an eye on, on things. Um, so yeah, and then on my Instagram, I'm going to be unboxing this still standing. It's like a stand for your ukulele, but it's attached to the ukulele so i don't know if it's gonna require any um like screwing which i'm not looking forward to i don't think so but uh it's it's from a danish company so we'll see i'm gonna try this out on instagram right now so go and follow me there i'll upload a little reel about it thank you thank you thank you love you so much and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your week take care and ciao!